Hi, this is Mitch. I work at MoTeC where we do LS and LT engine conversions in Jeep JKs mostly. And I found a new vehicle for myself, or I should say used. It's a 96 Tahoe. And my plan is to put a Gen 5 L83 5.3 engine and a 6L80 transmission into this. Right now my intentions are to make this a really good driver where I can do long road trips, get much better fuel economy, have better power. I'll probably leave the ride height the same. The tires are fine on it for now. I'll keep the four-wheel drive system intact. I hope to get the push button system working. If not, I'll throw in a, two, a different transfer case and just make it a manual engagement. really clean as you can see bumper looks brand new whole front end looks really nice came with some LED lights they're cheap but I'll use them I just gotta wire them up probably use a switch pros panel keep everything really clean my intent is to make this look factory still, keep all the wiring very clean, it's going to be programmed with the ECU just like factory, just a few modifications to get some of the torque management out of it. I really don't want to have any problems with this. The interior is in really good condition, 217,000 miles. Love the back seat, it folds all the way down. Gives, gives me lots of storage that way. Just came back from a road trip. Just a couple hundred miles in Utah. The only issue I really noticed, I think I have some bad wheel bearings. I'd hear a roar above 60 miles an hour. It's pretty loud. I've added this head unit. It's from Joy Ying. I wanted basically to have a tablet experience in my vehicle where if I want to watch videos, um, listen to music, pretty much everything like an iPad, I want to have that power to do. Here's a video Robbie Robbie made. So with a memory stick you can put tons of videos, mp3s, photos. This will do pretty much everything. Just it's basically a tablet in your car but it is a head unit where it slides in a single den and then this piece snaps into it afterwards. So it works really nice because I don't have room for a double din in this dash. It's a pain in the butt to try to do it. So I found this solution and it's exactly what I wanted. You have radio. Music player, that's going to be what I have on my memory stick. And this button right here is for apps. So you can put anything you want off the Google Play Store. I, I can even see my email. Pretty neat. Go to YouTube. It is connected to my home Wi-Fi right now. But it's super neat. I really like it. to radio and it does have a GPS receiver in it I do have it hooked up the default app in it is not very good but uh, something for me to play around for a little bit AC works great electric seats still work I'll show you the rest of the body
one little scratch you can't see. Almost like it got keyed, but I doubt it. I think a branch maybe slid against it. A brand new trailer hitch was installed. I got my rear view camera attached with zip ties for now. It's really thick to drill and tap, so I'm gonna do that work. So that trip we went on was to Sand Hollow. So I got a little bit of sand and dirt back here, but it's not bad. Taking this to the drive-in movie theater. Folded the back seat down. Got some pillows and blankets. It has a nice stereo in it. Has speakers actually right above here. So that worked out perfect for the drive-in. I'm not too big on the wheels but they're functional, so I'll leave them for now. I'll eventually want to change it to something pretty simple, nothing too flashy. So we'll be going off-road with this. There's zero rust in this. These door seals, I mean, it still looks brand new. It's amazing. This has been a garage kept his whole life. Very clean Tahoe. The door hinges definitely need to be rebuilt as soon as possible. The passenger side is thrashed pretty good. Let's see if I can pick it up. There's lots of play. I do have the kit to do that. This will be my, my first video of the build. And Miguel at Velocity Performance, he's going to be pulling the engine for me, throwing in the Gen 5 with a 6L80. And I'll do the wiring, the fuel system, the fans. Well, that's kind of my specialty there, where he can throw the engine in. I don't have the facilities to do that myself, and I don't want to take up any room at MoTeC. But hopefully we'll get this done in a few weeks. Should be be simple, clean, and very functional. Thanks.